Okay, listen up. I think I might, I have, I got a job. It's part-time, temporary, but still, I think it can, it's counted as, um, as, um, as, uh, as, uh, for the PR. But I know if my work experience, my work permits can be extended after February, but there's this thing. So basically what happened, a guy called me while I was updating my phone. And I knew it. I'm like, I want to update my phone. I might get a call. I might get a call and then a job opportunity and I'm doing my phone, I won't receive it. It's actually, this is what happened. This is what happened. I said so. Um, nevertheless, so he left me a voicemail. And the thing is, that guy, uh, I can't really hear him. I can't hear what he says. And voicemail, I think, like, I was like 90% sure he said, oh, we'd like to have you part of the team, so call me back. I was like, oh my god. Um, I called him back and, um, um, he didn't answer. This is so usual. I know they need to fix their HR department. They they, they never answer. <laughs> Sorry, um, I called them back and then, <sighs> um, um, like so far I was ninety percent sure it kind of decreased to 80, 70 percent while waiting. So I waited an hour. Then I'm like, okay, you know, I listened to the, um, voice message again. Uh, I listened to it and um, like a few few more times and like I think yeah, I was like, oh my god, I think he says, <laughs> but then. I wasn't sure as he said, we decided not to have you part of the team, or <laughs> like we decided to, we decided, because the thing is, the only thing I heard is we decided part of the team, and in the middle, I just added my own thing, like, to have you part of the team, um, so that's what happened, and then, so no, I, I listened to it again, then I realized it, and he says, oh, please call me and leave me a voice message, something like that, I was like, oh my god, I should have left a voice message, so I called him again now, after an hour for my first call, and he actually replied, he was like, oh, I, I thought I was going to leave a voice message, and then um, he said, yeah, I would be happy to have you on your team. I was, I was quiet. And like, so he was expecting an, an answer. I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm excited for sure. And then he was like, when can you start work? And I said tomorrow, but then I'm not sure because of the whole hours. And I know, I know. I need to... Good thing my go bus is charged. My go bus card. I'm not ready to go tomorrow. I'm shaving. Um, oh my God, wait, my hair, my shaving. I know, I know what's happening. I think this is part time. So, and. I was looking for other volunteer opportunities. I know, like, what to do between the part-time, part-time thing. Like, like I think the money is okay, but I, I, I need, like, an extra day worth of money, if you know what I mean. Because um, part-time is, like, 20 hours. Hopefully, it's, like, more than 20 hours. I know. Like, I, I, I'll say the offering. He says going to try to email it to me soon because I can start as soon as tomorrow. And I just, I, I think is, it's not ideal. Let's say this. It's not ideal. I do not want to forget why I learned in university. I'm going to have to face my demons. And, uh... So a lot of things are happening. I'm going to have to face my demons at university to, um... I don't want to... I don't want to... I need to talk to the people that I disappointed. Uh, and, uh, 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 they, I, I don't know. I know what they want. <laughs> so there's this guy. I was doing kind of research with that guy. And then doing cockroaches. And then I, I, it's hard to... I dissect it. Oh my god. Just remembered. So basically, I was doing research with that guy, with that professor during my undergrad, and um, um, I can't. And so I was, okay, let's, okay, I was the second cautious, which I don't like. I mean, I, they're alive, okay, but yeah. And then, um, and then, um, thing is, he wasn't really, he, how can I say, he wasn't applying pressure on me to work. We will have, oh, I think I started in the summer. I actually forgot what happened. I believe, I think I started like kind of. Yeah, I remember I started the project, but, but I feel I wasn't in a class. Is that what happened? I wasn't in a class? No, 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 I will. Oh, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I was. But because it's integrative biology, which is different from the environmental sciences where there is, like, actual lessons every now and then, the IB... Integrative biology had, uh, no, it's actually the opposite. Integrative biology had lessons, and I remember, oh, yeah, I like lectures and they went to them. Um, which makes it even worse. What I so I don't remember, like, did I drop the course or what? I honestly don't know what happened. All I remember is doing this research project that was obtaining the data, and I guess it was so independent that I, was, I felt so lost, I had no direction. Um, so I was doing the project, and I think part of me is like waiting for him to say something, and 
I honestly didn't, but I know what happened, but I just stopped going, stopped continuing what I was doing. Like, I was extracting stuff from cockroaches, and there's, like, still a few cockroaches, like, in a box. Um, um, and, yeah, I, now we're talking about it, I honestly, I, 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 I he never, like, t t he never talked to me again. I honestly think he totally forgot or like was he like did he, was he that like I'm wondering did he feel I'm so unimportant and like so lost cause that he's like or so mad at me that he didn't really talk to me but I was like oh he didn't email me so that means he doesn't want it to all maybe nothing about it. maybe that was his way of thought that's why he never like say oh hey continue your project or you can't leave your project like this maybe that's what he's but I wonder like I'm just sweat for the cockroaches first of all because it's a waste like it's a waste of oh my god how many lives were there <sighs> there's a few there's a few cockroaches lives there oh my god and then like I know if it's 10 cup the room if people are entering like why are there cockroaches there like what should happen to them um that's something and um the other thing is my the actual research project I did I kind of <sighs> Let's say I took like four months <laughs> over the original deadline <laughs> to submit my research paper. And um, and I'm not sure how he feels about that. He's always so nice and lovely. The thing is, because he's a guy, so it's always awkward. Um, there, he's a guy. Um, I think he, 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 he taught in like Middle East, maybe Dubai, Abu Dhabi, something like that. I'm trying to say not Saudi Arabia, but he did talk somewhere. He taught somewhere in the Middle East, and so there's that connection. And um, <sighs> so I just want to face those demons. So then, I'm really ashamed of going to the science, to, like to the science department. I want to volunteer there, but I, <sighs> I feel I have a bad name already. Oh, plus the one I did the research with. It's not only my research paper was late. I even like I kind of missed a few crucial dates. Oh, I'm starting to remember when we were doing the experiment, kind of the end and. In the beginning. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm just ashamed to show my face there. But I just realized my university is like one of the, it's like one of the, the, I know one of the greatest, one of the most important, or just one of a good research places, but I just know it has a name for research. So it's great to volunteer for research there. But, oh, yeah. oh my god, I can and th these are not the only two people I kind of, I bailed out. There's another one who, from the beginning, I, I know just the other day I was thinking about it, what happened. I was like, oh, wow, this is so exciting. Yeah, actually, I wasn't that excited for it. It's just like a peer review thing. Like, I look at um, I look at the research that has been done and then, like, summarize it, concise it in one paper. Um, which I was like, okay, yeah, it's not that practical, that exciting. But I was like, oh, my God, look at this. I won't have to kind of. Be there present which i'm like it's good i'm not really in the mindset to go to school every day which was displayed as my grades went out but um then we're like we're gonna meet again and i went to his door i stood by his door but i couldn't go inside this is another person i felt like i was interrupting or something i just didn't go this this is kind of a regret not really every now and then like this is a regret because i think i did the effort i didn't want to go i did the effort i went there I stood by his office like half an hour to an hour. I didn't go inside. And then I was trying to remember what did I tell my counselor? Because um, I went, because I contacted that guy again. And like, I'm sorry. I couldn't attend the meeting. Could be like postponed. It's like, no. Because <sighs> you know, attending shows how much you didn't care for it. It's like, oh, shoot. Um, but I was there. I did. Oh, oh. And then, and then yesterday when I did my whole um, leadership thing without with Islam, I, the I3 thing, <sighs> nothing has changed. It's just kind of, oh, people are so hard. People are so hard. <sighs> oh, I can't with people. Like, you know what? I thought I'm different and if I had a chance to go to school again, I'll be more, I don't know how to describe it, not social because I was, I was talking to people. But the thing is, whenever someone talks to me, I do respond, but I just always feel like, no, stay away. I don't want to talk, but I do want to be that person that's open and talks, but I don't know why. Just during the moment, just feel uncomfortable when I talk to people.
people and I feel uncomfortable in not talking to anyone. So that's why like like both both circumstances are so uncomfortable to me and awkward that I feel it's, it's I can't be myself. Even asking questions. I was also like, I'm actually shy of asking questions. I think it's just the group setting. The thing is, I feel to a certain extent with presentations, I'm not that nervous. But, um, so that's the thing. I'm like, oh my god, I actually, uh, I feel anxious going to classes. I know, like, small intimate classes because the other day I went to a class, um, like, a few weeks ago I actually went to a class that I wasn't part of. I'm just like, I just go to a random class. Not random class, it was like a business math. I was like, ooh. And I felt self aware. Like, I always try to compose myself in a cool art. I know, I always feel like someone's looking at me, which is not true, but that's how I feel. Like. But, in yeah, conclusion, uh, like, I felt self aware, but less uncomfortable, if that makes sense. Uh, like, there's still some nervousness there, but it wasn't as big. It was a big class, very class, but now it's... But I think I always have nervousness going to class, which... <sighs> I think it's just something to do with groups. Even during Friday prayers, I just try to look straight at the... Actually, I don't look at anyone. Not even the imam or, like, I mean, the sheikh, the one who's presenting, or the people around me. I try to look down. <sighs> something with groups. Which could be a part of why I can go to classes. It's maybe part of it. <laughs> Just, uh. Because, okay, so this is now uh, a lot of things happening. Honestly, I don't know if I can go tomorrow with, 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 with the people who can drop me there because. Uh, I don't know. To be honest, to be honest, this is just between us. These are the times when I think about, you know, you know what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Ciao.